Hi guys! Oh my, I really need to change that intro soon. <laughs> anyway, hi! Welcome to another Fan Art Friday! This was some time ago. I said I was, go I was going to do these every week, every Friday, or at least e each other Friday, but life happens and I don't really have the time, so I'm just gonna do these whenever I feel like it. So yeah, and here's one! This is the first one in 2019, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So fun, fun, fun. This one is just very, very spontaneous. I wanted to do, to draw, I wanted to do a Fan Art Friday video and I have just seen the movie, the anime movie, A Silent Voice. And I was like, wow, I wanna do some fan art of this movie, so I live streamed while I was drawing this and here we are. I was such a huge anime fan and anime nerd in when I was a teenager between the age of 12 and let's say 17 or 16. Yeah, 16. I was the biggest anime nerd or more like between the age of 12 and 15 I should say and then it started to go down but yeah. And I haven't seen an anime movie, I haven't seen a new anime in any way for so long. But then this movie came up and I was like, whoa, this looks really good and interesting. I have to see this. And the whole movie was, uh, is still on YouTube, both subbed and dubbed. And so I was like, yeah, I can watch this. And I did. And I was hooked. I was at first like, yeah, I'm gonna watch the beginning because that's the interesting part. But then I was just hooked and I just watched... I would just watch it the whole way through. It wasn't even I wasn't even, wasn't even supposed to do that, but I did. So yeah, it's so good. So if you want to see it, you can and you should, I'd say. Uh, it's about bullying and comeuppance and just trying to deal with your past self. And yeah, it's it's so beautiful. I love it so much. So this is the first time I'm doing fan art of an anime. Anime movie or anime show, doesn't really matter. I'm, this is the first time I'm making fan art of an anime in, oh, like, at least two years, I think. I might have done some sketch here and there, but I haven't done any real fan art since 2016 or 15, at least. So, that's fun. <laughs> I had a very clear uh, image in my head when I started to draw this, that's why everything goes pretty quickly, because uh, I wanted to have them, I wanted to have them on the bridge, and I wanted some sort of hands uh, incorporated in the picture, because there's a lot of hands and sign language and symbolism in the movie, so yeah. But then uh, I wasn't really sure, and I wanted to have a blue background, you know, with the sky, uh, so that was just my ideas when I started to draw and then I just started to draw and everything sort of fell into place pretty quickly, which is fun. This is also, I think, the first time I'm doing a proper painting that isn't the comic pages in this Photoshop. I had to fix uh, Photoshop again because the other thing... The the one, the version I had in my older one, uh, it crashed and it didn't work and it was horrible, <laughs> so I had to change it, so yeah. That sucks, but here we are. I say so yeah very much in this video, I apologize, I just realized that. It's so weird because I became so happy with him so quickly. Uh, it just everything just worked. It worked. What? Everything just works. From the sketch to the line art to the colors later on and shadowing, everything just works. And I had so much trouble with her because nothing really seemed to work. And I'm still not 100% happy with her because she doesn't look like the character that I would have liked to draw. But I'm still pretty happy with. The, the pa I'm very happy with the painting overall in the end, but I could have put some more time into her, I think. But 
hey, it works. It felt really good to draw again when I did this and it went by so quickly. I think it, the time was 2 hours and 50 minutes total. And that's when I I also take a lot more time, a longer time when I do a live stream um, for some reason and think I'm getting a bit, you know, self-conscious and wanted to look better than when I sketch and stuff just by myself. So it takes longer time when I'm doing a live stream. So that's that. And I, I don't know, two hours. It feels nice to put some, you know, more time into a picture sometimes but I rarely go beyond that like I don't think I think the most time I've spent on a painting is the angel drawing I did last summer and that one took me oh at least five hours um, at least five hours to paint but then you know I, I painted it and then I took a break and then I started painting it again and it took me it took me like half a year in total to paint so it's I think it's in interesting how when you experience new ways to paint and you try new things and you try different things uh, everything just goes by much quicker <laughs> suddenly like if I would have tried to paint this one in 2015 I first off it would have been much darker it would have been look, looked totally different yeah but it also would have taken me so longer to do this also these hands I was so close to just give up on these hands because I couldn't make them look right and I love drawing hands I absolutely love hands drawing hands and I love hands in general too I think hands are interesting the most interesting part of the human body so but drawing these was just oh they never looked right and i was angry and yeah but i think they look, they look really good in the end they are very subtle i wanted them to be very subtle just in the sky there so yeah and here we go to coloring i still have a hard time with coloring paintings because i i, I feel i have a very weird technique when i draw and when i, when I paint in photoshop I really think I should just take a long time and try different styles and different techniques because this doesn't work. <laughs> well, it does work, but I'm so I'm so confident when I sketch and when I do line art and everything. But when it comes to coloring, I'm like, I think you do it like this, and I think this looks good. Okay, I'm like a noob still when it comes to coloring, which I think is hilarious. I'm a, I think also I'm a bit more confident in both drawing and painting and everything right now because the whole beginning of 2000 uh, or like December 2018 and the whole beginning of 2019 I have been drawing so much sketches etc on paper on just sketches in general and using you know very uh, simple easy cheap uh, colors like for kids and stuff and it has been so relieving to just paint and draw without having any you know that this must look good no nothing like, nothing like that just drawing and painting and it has been so so it has feels so good and that has helped me so much to when i do more serious things like this um, so if you were stuck if you're ever stuck, really stuck in your painting session and you feel like nothing I do works, just take a paper, take a pen and just draw. Don't even care. It's supposed to look bad, if, you, if that helps. It's supposed to not look good. And you're not gonna show these to anyone. That is very important because I have, I've always been one of those, like if I paint something, I need to post it online or etc. And that has just been so restraining. So everything you paint, or rather not everything you paint, has to be shown to others. They can be just a sketch for yourself and then no one else has to see them. And that is so important because that really helped me to just let go and start painting again freely 
like when I was 14 and that was so good and that has helped me a lot so I think that's why also uh, everything goes much quicker now because I know how to paint in a, a different way <laughs> I really started to experiment a lot with making it uh, pretty bright and what I mean by bright is that I mean that the shadows are too very bright it's a bit uh, not pastel but yeah it's hard to explain but I do it here um, it's like when it's in sunlight you know the shadows aren't that dark and stuff and I've been really I, I really like that style and I think I'm pretty happy that I'm starting to experiment with that style now <laughs> because I like it so much. It's really fun to look back at my when I had my dark period and everything was pitch black and compare it to the things I do today. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> This is pretty much my first time drawing clouds like this. It was very spontaneous, but I really like how it turned out in the end. So, clouds they don't really have, uh, you know, they don't have any, have any rules, which is why I love clouds. They can just be in the sky. Here I was like, yeah, this is pretty much finished. I'm just gonna do the hands. And then I was like, this is pretty much finished. And uh, just doing details. And I think it's really interesting that it feels so weird when you do a painting and it's like, when is it done? <laughs> I've had that trouble now a couple of times. Like, when, are, when, when am I done with this painting? Because, okay, this looks good, but I know I could do more on it. But it feels good right now, should I just leave it be and not come back, but leave it be as a finished product now? Is it okay? And I, th I, I think it's really interesting how just that differs because before I was like, yeah, okay, it's done very quickly. Like here I would, be, would have been like, yeah, screw the hands, this maybe might be done now. and. The more I paint, the more I try different things, I'm like, I could do more here. I know I could do more here in this painting, but do I want to? Is it worth it? Or is it finished now? Will I ruin it? Um, or, you know, ruin it in a way that if I put more time into this now, I can't put just 10 minutes more into it. I need to put another hours into this. So, yeah. I'm pondering how the hands should be in the sky. If they are supposed to be just see-through or just... Yeah, whatever. But this is how it turned out in the end and I, I'm pretty happy with... They're pretty subtle, but still not. I don't know. This painting makes me longer for summer so much. I'm just, oh, I want sun and warmth, and this painting just makes me longer for summer even more now. Jesus. Yeah. 
yeah and there we have it thank you so much for watching and listening to me if you do and thank you for following my youtube channel i'm really really happy <laughs> for that i'm really thankful for everyone who's following me and sub subscribing to my channel and i can't speak apparently I don't know when next Fan of Friday is gonna come, but I know there will be a video pretty soon because I have so many ideas and stuff and yeah, and maybe I will live stream soon too. So I will see you in the next video. Please take care. Bye bye.